Indigenous rights are the rights of the original inhabitants of a particular area or region. They are often related to land, water, and other resources, and are derived from traditional laws and customs. Indigenous rights are also linked to the protection of sacred sites, which are areas that are held to be of special spiritual or cultural significance to a particular group of people. The protection of sacred sites is an important part of preserving and promoting indigenous rights. Sacred sites play a vital role in maintaining traditional beliefs and practices, providing places of spiritual connection and personal healing. Sacred sites are often found on indigenous land, and their protection can help to ensure that traditional knowledge and practices are not lost. In many countries, legal frameworks exist to protect indigenous rights and sacred sites. In Australia, for example, the Native Title Act, 1993, and the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Heritage Protection Act, 1984, were both established to protect indigenous rights and sacred sites. These laws ensure that indigenous people have the right to access and use their traditional lands, and that their sacred sites are protected from development or destruction. In some cases, indigenous communities have also taken direct action to protect their sacred sites. For example, in Canada, the Lubicon Cree First Nation has taken action to protect the sacred headwaters a region of traditional lands that are home to three major watersheds. The Lubicon Cree have organized protests, blockades, and other direct action to prevent the development of the area, which they consider to be of great cultural and spiritual value. The protection of sacred sites is an important part of protecting and promoting indigenous rights. Sacred sites play an important role in maintaining traditional culture and beliefs, and preserving traditional knowledge and practices. They are often found on indigenous lands, and their protection helps to ensure that indigenous people have access to their traditional lands and resources. Legal frameworks and direct action can both be used to protect sacred sites and to ensure that indigenous people have the right to access and use their traditional lands.